Welcome to our webinar, The Provider's Guide for Optimizing the TRICARE for Life Interactive Voice Response, or IVR, phone system. An IVR is a self-service tool that provides quick and easy access to TRICARE for Life information. Through the IVR, callers can obtain eligibility information, claim status, benefit information, check information, and more. Callers can navigate the IVR in two ways entering information either through spoken commands or using their telephone keypad. You can reach the IVR through the Tedific customer service phone number 866-773-0404. The IVR is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. To use the IVR, you will need a 9-digit tax ID and the patient's 9-digit sponsor number or 11-digit DBN. A DBN is a Department of Defense benefits number located on the patient's military ID card. The DBN format is 9 digits, a dash, then 2 digits. The 9 digits prior to the dash will be the same for all beneficiaries under that sponsor. It is commonly referred to as the Deers Family ID. Please do not use the DOD ID number as our system does not accept it. In order to use the IVR, you will also need the patient's name and date of birth. If you are calling for claim status, you will also need to have the 14-digit claim number. If the claim number is unavailable, you will need the date of service and date of billing. To ensure the best results while using the IVR, use a phone with a handset or headset or a cell phone. The use of speakerphones is not recommended. Find a quiet environment to speak clearly into the telephone. Background noise can interfere with spoken voice commands. All options can be either spoken or dialed. When you call the IVR, you will begin with the main menu. Let's take a look at the main menu. In step one, you will be asked to identify yourself as either a provider, such as a doctor's office, facility, or hospital, or as a beneficiary the person who receives TRICARE for Life benefits. In Step 2, after you choose between provider and beneficiary, you will be able to choose from a menu of options. One for eligibility, two for claim status, three for benefits information, four for preauthorizations, five for check information, six for pharmacy benefits, seven for dental information, eight for phone numbers, and nine for general questions. To speak to an agent, you must complete a transaction in eligibility, claim status, or check information searches. If you are not able to obtain your information through the self-service option of the IVR, you can reach an agent by stating Agent or by pressing Zero. Now we'll explore some of the IVR's menu options. To obtain eligibility or claim information that has already been submitted to TRICARE for Life, save or enter the tax ID. You must provide the tax ID the claim was submitted under to search for claim status. If you have not accepted assignment of benefits, AOB No, you will not be able to access claim status through the IVR. If you do not have the claim number associated with the claim, the IVR will prompt you for the date of service and the billed amount. You can either speak the information or use the touchpad on your phone. When you choose the eligibility or claim information options, you will also need to provide the patient's sponsor number or DBN, the patient's date of birth, and the patient's first and last names. If the patient is not eligible for TRICARE for Life, you will be provided the name and phone number of the correct region to contact. The system will also automatically transfer you to the correct region. If the IVR cannot find the patient with the information provided, the IVR will ask you to confirm the information it captured. If the information the IVR captured is wrong, it will ask you to enter the correct information. If the information is correct, you will need to verify the information with the patient. When you choose the Claim Status option, you can get the following information. Whether the claim is still in processing, whether the claim is denied, or whether the claim has completed processing. If the claim has been denied, the reason for the denial will be provided. If the claim has completed processing, you can find the date the claim was processed, the dates of service, the claim number, the claim build amount, 
the claim payment amount, the check number, the date the check was cashed, if applicable, and the amount of the check. From this menu option, you can also request a copy of the TRICARE for Life Explanation of Benefits to be faxed to you. If the claim has 25 or fewer lines, you can request the IVR to hear additional claim details. If your claim has 26 lines or more, additional information will be unavailable through the IVR, but it will be available on our website, tricareforyou.com, if you are a registered user. Claim details include the following information. The claim number, the number of lines on the claim, the dates of service for each line, the build amount for each line, and the allowed amount for each line. If you choose the Benefits option from the main menu, to get information for TRICARE for Life beneficiaries, you must first identify the type of information. For example, Medicare opt-out provider, inpatient, or outpatient. If you choose inpatient, you must then specify the type of inpatient benefit. Hospital, mental health, skilled nursing facility, hospice, or partial hospitalization. If the outpatient option for benefits has been selected, you must identify the type of outpatient benefits. Option 1 for general outpatient. Option 2 for mental health. Option 3 for chiropractic care. Option 4 for eye exams or eyeglasses option 5 for hearing aids, and option 6 for shingles vaccine. When selecting the option for pre-authorizations, all inpatient and outpatient services require an authorization will be stated. For additional information regarding prior authorizations, please visit www.tricareforyou.com. To get check information, say or enter the tax ID. Say, check number. If the check number begins with an asterisk, say asterisk, or press asterisk, then pound sign, on your keypad. Beneficiaries may receive check information only if they were issued the check. If you are searching as a beneficiary, checks issued to the provider will not be available. If you find a check in the system, it will provide the check amount, the check issued date, the check disposition, the disposition date, whether the check is a single or summary check, the claim information associated with the check. For example, the claim number, the patient name, the sponsor number, the date of service, the billed amount, the allowed amount, and the amount paid by TRICARE for Life. If you select Pharmacy Benefits, you will be transferred to Express Scripts. Express Scripts is the pharmacy contractor for TRICARE for Life mail order and retail pharmacy. If you select Dental Benefits, the IVR will ask whether the sponsor is active duty or retired. Providers will need to complete a transaction before transferring to an agent. This menu option will not transfer callers to the dental carriers. If you select the Retired option, the IVR will explain the type of dental care not covered by TRICARE. The IVR will provide information regarding FedVIP dental and vision coverage and its contact number. The IVR will explain TRICARE for Life staff cannot answer questions regarding the FedVIP plan, then list the dental services covered by TFL. When you choose Active Duty, the IVR will play information about available Active Duty dental plans. When you select Phone Numbers, you can access frequently used numbers the Defense Enrollment Eligibility Reporting System number, the TRICARE West Region number, the TRICARE East Region number, the Delta Dental Effective number, the FedVIP number, and the Express Scripts number. Choosing the General Questions option will give you the chance to find out more about new claims address information for TRICARE for Life, website information for TRICARE for Life, the TRICAREforYou.com site, hours of operation for TRICARE for Life, social media including website, Facebook, and Twitter information, and frequently requested telephone numbers. Please note that from this menu option, you cannot transfer to an agent. We hope you enjoyed this webinar on TRICARE's IVR system. Please follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and look for our other upcoming webinars and tutorials. Thank you.